the size of the fall I these days. Hello everyone, I have with me the champion of the Asian Continental Chess Championship 2022, Pragnananda. First of all, Pragnananda, what does this championship mean to you? Yeah, I'm very, first of all, very happy to uh, win it in India because like it's been a long time since I played here. Okay, apart from the Olympia, I've not played so many tournaments in India, so it's very good to be playing here and winning uh, Asian Championship. Yeah, it feels good and I don't think it was easy at all, like every game was hard fought and yeah, I'm very happy to uh, win at the end. So you have played some of the strongest tournaments recently, so how do you rate this tournament? How strong was it? Like if you see the rating wise, maybe like, people think it's not strong but the players are very strong. Like, um, as I think everyone knows who have played in India, like Indians are, rating is just, it's not the true rating, like everyone is underrated. So, um, it was just a tough tournament and like everyone, everyone was strong. Like, SL, Adiman, everyone was there. So. Any particular round that you think that was the toughest round for you? Yeah, final round was tough. Like I had to defend uh, worst position and it was not easy. And then also against Kartikana, it was a tough. Like I had to play for six hours too. Mm -hmm. I think both games were quite tough. Other games were also tough. But these both I had to struggle a lot. So if you can tell us about your game with uh, Kartikan because you, I don't know if you have seen or not, I have recorded the bit where you and Kartikan were discussing after the game, like you were analyzing, but as you were speaking in Tamil, so most of us don't understand. If you can tell us what uh, what did Kartikan miss and uh, where did you press? Yeah, first video was Chess Base India Tamil, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, like we both are uh, very good friends and we like we both work with Ramesh sir, so uh, like we have worked together also. Mm -hmm. And so we, we knew each other quite well. And yeah, um, yeah, we were just analyzing at the end. And mm -hmm. the game, it was quite complicated. Like I got a winning position after move 40. And mm -hmm. then I missed a simple win. And then I had to go to the same game with double rook and three pawns. Uh, uh, rook knight three pawn. And which is not at all easy because it's pieces were coordinated and then then I misplayed very badly and then it was just a draw at the end like he could even exchange the rooks when they were one, uh, one, one point each he could exchange rook takes h2 at some point and then get this knight to g6 and it's a dead draw um, he knew it but he wanted to keep the rooks as long as he, as, it, as he can because it looked like a fortress like with knight on e3 but then somehow I got my rook out and then, yeah, I was just lucky in that game to finally win, uh, win the F5 point. Yeah. Great. And which will be your favourite game from the tournament? Favourite game? Yeah, against Kausto was quite good. Like, I outplayed him from a completely equal position. And against... Yeah, Pranavanand, it was quite crazy. Um, just complicated, like, I was happy to find this knight a2 uh, thing in a little time. And, yeah, I think overall I played quite good, like, in general. Uh, there were some moments where I slipped, but I think overall it was a good tournament for me. As you mentioned that it's great to win in India. Uh, your mother is here, your sister is also here. Uh, does this add a pressure that you are playing in India? Not really, I think. Uh, playing in India is that like, your rating is might at risk, yeah, because uh, like let's say like, uh, I'm playing at 2400 and I don't think they're 2400, like they're strong <laughs> in India. So right. Everyone right. is underrated. Yes. yes. So are you still afraid of losing rating? Not really, like, okay. okay. 
you have crossed that barrier uh-huh. <laughs> i mean i mean that is out of your head right now you just play with a clean hand i try to <laughs> yeah sometimes it comes okay It's very near to play your best okay a uh, very near to 2700 just knocking on the door does 2700 the the rating mean is anything to you yeah it will i think it will mean a lot of maybe invitations to the stronger event i think that's the thing with rating uh and okay i lost close to 10 in the previous event faganas and uh, yeah here i gain i don't know how much i gain so i should probably be dis- decreasing a little bit like compared to comparing both events yeah okay 27 is just a aim like there is lot lot more and and i i'm not going to play any classical event in next two months so okay what are your next plans what are the what are the next tournaments that you have planned i'll be playing this uh, champions system next one in san francisco mm-hmm. i'll be going there and then i'll be playing uh, yeah uh, tata steel india in mm-hmm. kolkata yes right that will be my next one Great. Uh, thank you so much Pragnananda for entertaining us and giving us such a wonderful show. It's yeah. always great to watch you play and we wish you all the very best for the upcoming future. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to you as well for like, covering, yeah. <laughs> It's a, not a easy show. Are <laughs> thank you means a lot coming from you. Yeah.